Hello, my name is Angelina Imeajo Anna Thomas from 8220. Uh, here I will explain uh, my part in this report, which is introduction. First, uh, I, I will explain about what is SME Corporation Malaysia. Uh, it is a central coordinating agency under the Ministry of Entrepreneur De Development and Corporation, uh, which is NEDAC. Uh, that coordi coordinates the implementation of development programmes for small and medium enterprises uh, across all related ministry and the agency. Uh, it acts as the central point of reference for research and data dissemination on SME and uh, entrepreneurs. There is two sector of uh, in SME. Uh, first is manufacturing, manufacturing sector. Uh, the the sell turnover in this sector is not uh, over than fifty million, or the full time employees is not exceeding two hundred workers. Uh, the second sector is services and uh, other sectors. Uh, the cell turnovers in this sector is not exceeding 20 million or full-time employees are not over than 75 workers. Next is I will spend the background of the store that we interview. The store name, the store name is Dilunas Jaya located at 95A, 95B, and 95C, Lot 3717, Batu Tujuh, Jalan Kebun Section 30, 42460, Shah Alam, Selangor. The owner of this store is Mr. Muhammad Fauzi bin Muhammad Mohsin. Uh, the store type is grocery store, uh, and, and this store was established on 8 August 2009. In this store have 13 workers. Uh, there is uh, 6 staff and 7 foreign workers. Uh, the store is uh, the operations hours of this store is uh, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. every day. And the uh, SME type is small because uh, in this store, the the turn asset turnover of this store is not over than five million in one year. And the 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 sector or the type of sector of this store is so this sector. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, business. Dilunas Jaya is operating in the trading sector, which is well sell, sell, and shipping. Their form of business ownership is sole proprietorship, which is owned by Mr. Muhammad Fauzi bin Muhammad Moshin. The type of employment are paid workers and self-employed work owners. The owners of the SMEs is also working to ensure the business is running smoothly. Their business activity is they are open from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, except during holidays. There are 13 workers working in the company. Seven of them are foreign workers. Their main item is wet goods, for example, chickens, fish meat, and fresh vegetables. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Ami Anwar. I'm from class AT222. I would like to present about fixed input in the Lunas company. Fixed input, which is the quantity, does not change according to amount of output like machine, building, and tools. And then we have explicit cost that is categorized under business cost that appear in general ledger and have a direct impact on the company profitability profitability as known as explicit cost. Then it's a record in a company general 
leisure and flow through. Then we have empty cost, also referred to national cost. These costs are easy to quantify. That because business don't necessarily record empty cost for accounting purpose. The empty cost that could be the amount of company money miss all of for choosing to use in internal resource. Okay, we have five internal source of this economic scale in this company. First of all, it's about discount. And then it's a technical, this economic, and organizational, this economic. And then the poor communication in this company also uh, one of the main reasons and the higher cost of the resource. And then we have the external source of this economic in this company. First of all, we have a monetary secretary of electricity, water, finance, and the utility bill, and then the moratorium during the pandemic COVID. And then finally, the market structure of this company is monopolistic competition. The number of firms in this company is large and have a many buyers. And then the type of product of this company is differentiated. And then the condition to enter to entry this uh, competition is really easy. And some company control over the price. And then the price elasticity of the demand is very large. And the example for the company is such as food, clothing, and many more. Uh, the definition of the monopolistic competition is a market structure in which there are large number of small sellers, just like I said earlier, that is selling different of product. And then it's very to, easy to entry and exit from the market. And that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Muhaimin from class 8222. Today, I want to discuss about business analysis. Business analysis is a professional discipline to identifying business needs and determining the solution to the business problem. From the task given is to discuss business analysis for the company that has been interviewed from us. From the interview that our group does with the owner of company D. Lunas Jaya, we asked how the nature business the company before MCO. So before MCO, they usually run their business such as selling, buying and delivering their product to their customer normally. And they not have to follow the SOP. Net is what their implication of MCO, MCO to the company, especially on the supply side. The company informed that they were a little bit affected during MCO because the company of D. Lunas Jaya is company that sell wet and dry grocery, grocery like Maiden, Giant, Tesco and so on. They are not affected by the cost supply, payment of employee, salary, and dis dismissal of the em employee. But they only affected to the grocery things like chicken, cooking oil, sugar, and so on because this thing has been controlled by the government and certain parties. Lastly, is what they do to make sure their company can survive during MCO. They inform that for the first time MCO, our government order 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 for closing all trade sector. They also follow the order from the government to close their company. When the government allow opening back all the trade sector, they run their business like before MCO but must follow the SOP. That's all for me. Thank you. So, Assalamualaikum. Now, I will be explain about uh, market response di Lunas Jaya. So, during this uh, outbreak of COVID-19 and movement control of the MCO, this company operate according to the government instruction and follow standard operating procedure SOP. 
as instructed. So, however, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this uh, company have uh, made a change toward the marketing strategy in promoting their business and product by using online social media such as WhatsApp, uh, Facebook and Instagram. And the online marketing strategy is a new chapter of this company. Uh, surprisingly, some of the product marketing online have become sensation and viral which help this uh, company uh, as a free investment for their product and also introduce the business to a new customer. A first uh, decision was made by this company on the setting their new marketing strategy whereby they are go to the customer online due to the fewer walk-in customer at the time. They also make sure they manage well uh, in internal and external marketing and focus on their product price promoting a uh, promotion delivery place and people in this situation of a COVID-19 pandemic the customer has changed their behavior and purchasing whereby most purchasing is toward the basic goods product we regard to the situation however they are now more comfortable using a business online which are very uh, convenient even during the post pandemic this situation during a COVID-19 was brought a little impact to the company when the company struggled with getting business sale and getting goods from the manufacturer and the change of purchasing behavior at the beginning of uh, MCO was quite affecting the profit margin of this company on the other hand the new norm is a in a business strategy and marketing online uh, eventually have helped this company in increasing the business sale and, and accelerating their business profit so now let's continue the revenue report of Diluna Jaya from the year 2020 and 2021 here from the graph you will notice that the, uh, there is a higher and lower point that a revenue received by the company this company has the higher revenue in the month of January 2020 compared to 2021 whereby the highest revenue received was in the month of uh, December 2021 we can analyze from the graph that there has been a decrease in revenue for seven months uh, respectively for the year 2020 that is between the month of March to October 2020. The month of August was the lower revenue collected from the year amounting to 40,000. From this graph, it show that uh, it show on the year of 2020 we can see the increase in the revenue received which is almost 50% from the year 2020. The higher amount of revenue was in the month of December 2021, amounting to 89,000. So overall, the total revenue from 2021 indicated uh, that this company has successful maintaining very well with their performance and obtain a good profit margin for conti continuously uh, sustain to boost their business. My name is Amira Natasha binti Saiful Adili and I'm from AT226. I will present about financial aid for Dilunas Jaya. Dilunas Jaya use e-wallet as one of their transactions since 2020. This company use e-wallet such as Touch and Go e-wallet and Maybank QR Pay. According to their observation, uh, Maybank QR Pay is the most popular e-wallet at their shop. This digitalization adaptation helped them in order to reduce customers waiting time at the counter during checkout. This digitalization also benefit them as they don't need to carry too much money during deposit and help reduce the risk of unnecessary loss or miscount during closing. It also helped them to track their sales and target daily or monthly. The Lunas Jaya also get benefits from the Electricity Bill Support Initiative which was approved under Permai and Pemulih Package. During pandemic, the Lunas Jaya received around 5% to 40% discount on electricity bills. When MCO happens, 
the number of customers walk in to the shop decrease. So with this initiative support, it helped the Lunas Jaya sustain their business operations. In conclusion, the Lunas Jaya has grown their business with their own capitals. They are very independent and not relying to anyone. In their opinion, banks tend to be really conservative, so they expand their business using their own capability. In my opinion, they should transform how they run their business. They need to acknowledge their benefit from the various scheme, initiative, funding and grant that has been provided by the government and banks. They need to use a variety of technology and latest tools in order to help them run their business more efficiently anywhere and on any device. The conclusion that may be drawn from Dilunas Jaya situation is that they are very independent because they are using their own savings to run this business, but they are not really aware with all the financial aids provided by the government. They also survived the COVID-19 pandemic by maintaining their sales in 2022 until now. The Minister of Finance, Tengku Datuk Sri Muhammad Zafrul, has announced the Malaysia Budget 2022 that will help the SME entrepreneurs to grow their business. So, there are some recommendations that we suggest to improve business strategies for Dilunas Jaya company. Firstly, we suggest that Dilunas Jaya should get the financial aid from Bank Negara Malaysia and other organizations because in Budget 2022, BNM has offered extensive and beneficial assistance to SME entrepreneurs. Next, with the finance available, they can also use it to provide their own raw materials such as vegetables and chicken supplies. In this way, they will not have to wait for the vendors to stock up those basic supplies and they might also draw more customers because they have offered fresher raw supplies. Lastly, they also should hire more citizen workers to apply for digitalization grant scheme as one of the application requirements of this grant is the SME should at least 60% Malaysian owned. This grant will help them to promote their sales by creating an official website for this company. This will make it easier and save time for the customers to buy their groceries online.